And you may have heard about the rides, the food, and the puppies there. But one thing that is on everyone's calendar is also the cattle competitions at the UP State Fair. And year after year, these families are raising these animals and making careful picks for the competition. So here's a look at our Mitchell Rife speaking to families that raise the cattle. The rides have been fun and the food is delicious. However, this cattle competition is a big one. If you haven't heard of the competition, well, that might be a difficult one considering this is kind of their Super Bowl of cattle racing. We're here at the UP State Fair just finding out what it takes to raise these cattle year after year. It's a lifetime of work, it's a career, but it's a real passion for these guys. Well, it all starts at home with the, the cow herd, the breeding them, selecting quality animals that we want to bring to the fair. We bring them to the fair to entice other people to want breeding stock. So we bring our very best quality up here. And, uh, but it all starts at home raising the cattle. Um, yesterday we had our junior beef breeding, or our, our junior beef show. Um, and we crowned our overall grand champion and our overall reserve grand champion of the barn. Um, we had an excellent show. I cannot say enough about our young exhibitors this year. They have been so respectful. They are working so hard. Our barn looks amazing. It is so clean. I think we're experiencing the best year ever so far. Our 4-H club is kind of a program through Menominee County and other crafty critters and basically throughout the year we'll have meetings talking about registration, decorations and all that and prep for this fair throughout the year with them. Um, it's important to me because I get to learn about agriculture and have what it is to raise an animal. Um, you learn responsibility and how to take care of something. Um, yeah, I get to bring my cow to fair and show them off all pretty. Um, you get to do something that not a lot of people do, so it kind of different, and it's a new experience. Uh, I think um, a lot of people don't quite understand how our agricultural families are, are the backbone, they're the spine of, of, of our communities, and how their work and what they do on their farms gets food to our tables. As every year, this takes a lot to maintain these cattle to raise year in and year out. And there's lots of families here that have been raising it for their entire lives from past generations. And right behind me is where they're actually crowning the king for the hog, I believe, or the cattle of this year. Guys, I'm Mitchell.